Hi guys, welcome back to customizing the Millennium Falcon. Um, I'm still not finished with my cockpit videos, so I know that the next couple of issues aren't going to deal with the cockpit, so that's going to push it towards uh, completion. So I'll be snapping those videos out straight away. Um, it'll probably be a long list, <laughs> a couple of parts, so that, that'll be good to watch. Um, in the meantime, um, I'm going to talk about this piece, which we've seen in the last episode. And I'm coming back to it because, <laughs> well, because the actual uh, window is, is wrong. It's not in the right place, if you can see. Um, I've got a reference picture here. Now this is a picture from the actual proper miniature, the filming miniature. And as you can see there, the bars go off the colour bit and then at the front of the turret you've got this wide open now on this piece you've got a bar in the middle there so it needs to be moved around and then this section here needs to be open so that the gunner can actually see right I'm gonna make that adjustment um, it's only a simple modification but it can be a bit dangerous so um, you can use uh, our hobby knife which you would have seen before this is very sharp, so you need to be really careful when you do it. Um, it just involves taking, turn it over. Now this, I didn't realize, but this whole piece is actually glued in. Now it had glue tabs all the way around the center. So I just went with my knife around there, cutting them out, and then the, turret, uh, the window will actually pop out, just like that. Um, another, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, there is another way of doing it. You can um, put it in the freezer and that should uh, snap the glue when you apply pressure on it um, because it's a very thin type of glue. So the cold temperatures make it deteriorate. Nice simple fix there. Um, so once the window's out, we've got our window out. Uh, we've got the small tab here. Now we, went, we need to remove that because that, that it sits right in there in that little gap. So what we do, we get our clips. These are just normal Citadel clips. I have a lot of Games Workshop stuff. I used to do a lot of Games Workshop things. And we're just going to clip off the edge. There we go. That's taking that off. And go over it with our knife. There we go. Let's just remove the edge. Now I can put that back in, and I can put it wherever I want. Brilliant. So I can position that roughly there, stick some glue on it, and that's that. Simple fix. How about that? Nice simple fix. Cool. Right. That's not the only thing I want to talk about. Okay, I'm back. So, um, in between videos, uh, this turned up. This is from issue 5, I believe. Now this is the walkway, it has these pins in it, um, we just snap it together, it comes in two pieces, which is how they moulded it, they fit together quite easily like that, and then our cockpit sits on the end at the back, and then this is the kind of, well it's the walkway how they get into the cockpit, and then this leads to the rest of the ship, so interesting stuff. Um, as again, not too happy with the paint job on it. Not too happy with this as well. It looks a bit. It doesn't look great. It's just a hole. So what we're going to do? It's all right though. The plastic, plastic on top is well molded. There's no air bubbles, no cracks. It's actually really good. The plastic is really good on it. I'm really impressed. So what we're going to do, as we do with most other pieces, we're going to undercoat it. So when we've got it all together, we can put it all together. It's got one consistent coat on it. So I know how people like my lovely uh, timed <laughs> airbrushing, as you have mentioned. I'm going to put those down there and we're going to give them a good coat in our, uh, well, Vallejo Air Grey RLM. I'm going to put that through our airbrush and we're going to get to it right now. All 
Okay, those pieces are off drying now. Um, I thought I would paint this piece now because it's very inconsistent the paint job on it at the moment is not that great. Um, I think the um, grey RLM cover colour gives a very good uh, good undercoat for any stage we go further with it. So that's my reasons for using it at the moment. Um, yeah, I think I think it really will work out in the end. So at least without we'll consistent colour until the plastics coming out with different colours all across the board. Right, I'm gonna do a spray of this. And there we go folks, that's the two pieces uh, resprayed. <laughs> um, I won't touch them at the moment, they're a bit wet, but it was a little bit painful going over the details that were on here, but I think at the end of the day I think I could do a better job than what was on there. So that's going to be a lot longer down the road until we see those details resprayed back on, but uh, I hope you'll be watching back in the future. <laughs> Fair enough, if you're not, but there we go. Um, right, so those are those two pieces done. And that's pretty much it. That's all I want to say at the end of this video. Um, just keep your comments coming in. Um, give us a like if you want to. Um, then that's it. That's great. Um, hopefully I will see you all in the next one, where we will be uh, tackling the interior of the cockpit, everything from the chairs to the doors. Uh, we'll talk about um, the fiber optics, um, the current lighting system, things like that. So, in the meanwhile, keep safe, keep hobbying, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.